Hello everyone, it's Homestar92, and welcome to part 25 of Let's Play Mother 3. As you can see, we're in the middle of a flashback that Lucas had, or is having, I should say. And it's playing the Mother 3 Love theme, which is one of the best songs in the game. And of course, a sped up version is the Tasmali theme, as you probably will recognize. There's a lot of little hidden clues in this game as to things that will be important later, and there was one at that graveyard scene. It's not of huge importance, and it's something that I can guarantee none of you will notice, but it's something that I just noticed right now, and we'll get to that later. See, it, it's still there, don't worry, there is something of importance in this screen. I'm not going to tell you what it is. And I'm sure it's the last thing you'd ever think of, but it's there, and it's all that matters. Regardless of any of that, though, this flashback is almost over. So, fade to black. Chapter 4, Club TD Boo. And please, no immature jokes or snickering at the name. Um, there's a train going through now. Um, now, actually, I'll wait, because in about one minute I'll be able to say that. Yeah, this is three years later, Tasmali Village. And as you'll see momentarily, a lot has changed. It's a totally different setting now. Look at this. It's, it's the little pink houses for you and me. Little pink houses with white picket fences, the auto inn has grown considerably, as has the general goods store. And of course that little central area of town is still there. There's not a well anymore, but it, it's still there, with facade, of course, chatting it up. Um, I must say, it's very handy having a second monitor as I do now, because now I can run the game full screen on my left monitor while still watching my, um, Audacity and my timer on the second one, so it's quite nice. The gaming experience has gotten better. And as you can see, we are Lucas, our hair is a mess, we have bed head, and it's, um, we're a bit taller because it is three years later. Let's try to leave. Aww. Flashback to Hinawa. Alright, let's go look at ourselves. Yes! Another flashback to Hinawa combing his hair. Notice he is shorter there. So yeah, that's one of the things. They really paid attention to even those little details. I mean, they even made Lucas grow up a bit. So let's go outside for the first time as a young adult. The sheep have been shaven! Ah. Wild animals are afraid of lightning, but livestock are actually pretty okay with it. Nothing in Boney's place. Hi, Boney. Woof. Woof. <laughs> He's gonna take me for a walk. I find that funny. So yes, we have a party member now. Boney joined our party. Had he previously been in anyone's party? Oh, he must have. He's level 8. Of course, his skills and vault is our sniff, which is kind of like Jeff's spy command in Earthbound. Overall, his stats are pretty okay, I guess. Ba ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Whoa, what happened here? Lightning must have struck. Hey, a safe frog. Hey, you there, boy. I realize this might be a bit of a bother, but come talk to me. Very important information. Okay. From this day forth, you will be rewarded for your hard work. It will be given in units called DP, Dragon Power. I could have sworn in version 1.0 of the um, patch it was Dragon Points, but whatever, it's Dragon Power. You can use DP in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. It seems you've already earned 30 DP. You can save. Blech. You can save and withdraw DP anytime by talking to nearby frogs. 
Some frogs in special locations can't conduct transactions, though. Please do not explain that again. Let's try it out. Do I need something? Yes. DP stuff. Well, let's withdraw our money. Same rules apply as with Earthbound, but... I mean, I've got handy-dandy save states. Why would I ever need to worry about losing my money? You do still lose half of your money every time you die, which is why when, once you get a really big amount, you should deposit it, but for the time being, we're fine. Same map as before. Well, more or less. Let's see, 549, okay. The famous lightning house. And a pig mask. No, I will not get a happy box. I've seen what they do to people. Who are you? You look kind of like Jeff. There's... There are some theories involving the presence of the Chosen Four in this game. I don't know if that's the guy who they say might be Jeff, but they say that Jess, Neff, Anna, and Pooh are in this game in some form or another. Um, I just like to take the game at face value, as I usually do with games and music and the like. So, here's a happy box. And it, what would appear to be a television. Maybe a computer monitor. Ooh, a safe. Oh no, it's an oven. Okay, no one's home here. Let's just look around a bit. Here's the store. We can buy things. Can't afford anything except for the antidote. No, wait. How do I not have any DP? I just withdrew 30. Maybe I didn't, but whatever. We can't afford anything good anyway, so... It doesn't matter. Here's the auto win. It's quite a bit bigger. Hmm. DCMC. There's a band in this game, too. There was a band in Earthbound. Remember the Runaway 5? There are some similarities. Yeah, you're ignoring me. Try ignoring me now. La, 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 la. I'm walking in front of you. Okay, I'm done. I have no idea where I'm actually supposed to be going. Yeah, this is all basic stuff. Um, yeah. So where am I going? Ooh, frog. Come here. I do want to withdraw. There. Okay, what time are we up to? 8.10. Yes, I still intend to live in my house. What? My grandmother? Interesting. Well, here's a bridge. And another save frog, because it's so necessary to have them so close to each other. Ah, I don't- I just don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Here's a pig mask training facility. Ha, ah, I'm blocking you. Okay, I mean, I guess this is just gonna be an ex exploration part. Because I really don't know where I'm supposed to be. Ah, how exciting. Isn't, um, Wes's house up here? No, that's the retirement home. Ah, it used to be Wes's house, and of course, the Thunder Bombs are still back there. So enjoy that. You want to know how Flint is, you know? I bet I know where Flint is. Call me crazy, but I've got a bit of a hunch. If I had to make a guess, I would say that he is up here at the cemetery. Specifically, at Hinawa's grave. Oh, what are you doing? 
Yes, my old man is always sitting in Hinoma's grave. And here he is. Oh, Lucas, it's been a while now. You should go talk with your mom. Yes, we can start a cutscene, but I think that is better left to the next part. So, until next time, I'm Homestar92. I promise we'll get a bit more progress in the next part, but I'll see you guys next time. Later.